let's solve this problem in dynamics. What we have is we have this teenager, and basically they went running and jumped on this five kilogram box, so they're sliding across the ground. I'm just gonna say I did this stuff all the time when I was a teenager. Um, and they're moving with a velocity to the right, so there's gonna be a friction acting to the left. It's gonna be a kinetic friction since they're in motion. The first thing I'm gonna do is I recognize that their mass is 75 kilograms, and the mass of this box is five kilograms. So I'm gonna add those together to make an 80 kilogram object total. There's a very specific equation we use for frictional forces, where we have a plane that's inclined at an angle theta. In cases where we have an inclined plane, we'll have our object that's typically sliding down, so there's going to be a frictional force acting back, and this is the equation for it. But notice here, in this case, we don't have an incline. We're on a flat plane. So that means this entire cosine theta is going to disappear. So all I'm going to have is the coefficient of friction times mass times gravitational acceleration. Now, this is the equation we can use for our kinetic friction. Our coefficient of kinetic friction is 0.12. The total mass is 80 kilograms, and our gravitational acceleration on Earth is 9.8 meters per second squared. So 0.12 times 80 times 9.8 is approximately equal to 94.1 newtons.